Now let us study about the third postulate of Bohr's atomic model. In previous two sections, we have studied the first and second postulate, which are combinedly defining an orbit around the nucleus in which an electron can revolve. This third postulate is related to absorption or release of energy for an electron. Let us first write down the statement about this third postulate. Bohr explained that in a stable orbit. Electron energy remains constant, or this implies that in a specific orbit, when the electron is revolving, its total energy remains constant. And he added that uh, electron energy changes when it makes a transition. When it makes a transition. From one orbit to another. Here, these orbits are also called energy levels because, as he said, in a specific orbit, the energy of electron remains constant. So each orbit is also termed as energy level. So whenever an electron makes a transition from one orbit or one energy level to another, then only its energy changes. And here he also added that such transitions are instantaneous. That means there is no time lag between these transitions, and these also involve quantized energies in form of. Electromagnetic radiation photons. To understand it, let's have a look over this situation. Here you can see if there are two orbits, n one and n two. And just I must clarify that the picture which I'm showing you is a notation which we represent on paper. Actual situation or phenomena is quite different from this. But to understand this will quite help us. Say there are two orbits, n one and n two, and say an electron is there in the orbit n one, then it will be having a specified energy e n one. And say if an external photon is supplied to this electron, as soon as the electron will absorb this photon, its energy will increase and it will make a transition to the other orbit that is n two, and it will stay over there for some time till its energy will be released back. Similarly, here you can see a situation that if the electron is in the orbit n two, then it will possess some energy e n two, and if there is a vacancy in the lower state n one because its energy is low, it is more stable. So the electron can make a transition to the lower state and release a photon, which is having some energy, and final energy of electron will become n two. Now, in this situation, for the second case, when an electron is transiting from a higher orbit to lower orbit, the total energy released is delta E, which can be written as here E n two minus E n one, and this energy is released in form of a photon, which we have seen. So, photon energy can be written as h nu or h c by lambda. So, this is the equation we use as equation number three or the equation. Which is explaining the third postulate of Bohr atomic model, and it also explains that energy is involved or energy changes takes place for an electron only when it makes a transition. When electron makes a transition from lower state to higher state, it absorbs energy, and when it makes a transition from higher state to lower state, it releases energy both in form of an electromagnetic radiation photon whose energy will be equal to the Energy difference of the two corresponding orbits.